We've already learned about inquiry-based learning. If you recall, inquiry is a process of active learning that is driven by questioning and critical thinking. The understandings students develop through inquiry are deeper and longer lasting than any pre-packaged knowledge delivered by teachers. Inquiry-based learning follows a process that progresses through phases. When using the stripling model, inquiry-based learning is recursive and reflective throughout. Students work through six phases including connect, wonder, investigate, construct, express, and reflect. Inquiry strategies start with a question and engage students in problem-solving activities. Problem-based learning also encourages the development of understanding and skills through exploration and experimentation. This type of learning starts with an ill-structured problem. The teacher's role in problem-based learning is slightly different than their role in inquiry-based learning. According to John Savory from Purdue University, with problem-based learning, the teacher acts as facilitator but does not provide information to the learner. Instead, learners are expected to seek out the necessary information needed to solve a problem. Savory also tells us that project-based learning Learning is an active learning strategy that focuses on a problem. With project-based learning, the problem is well structured whereby the learners are provided with the specific deliverables for the project. The role of the teacher in project-based learning is to focus learning on following a process prescribed by the teacher. The teacher is more like a coach who provides feedback and guidance along the way. You might see how these three types, inquiry-based, problem-based, and project-based learning may be used interchangeably because they all focus on solving a problem. The role of the teacher, however, is quite different in each strategy. Any of these strategies can be used in the lesson planning process. As you integrate technology in your lessons, choose a strategy that best fits your learners needs and your teaching pedagogy this type of learning starts with an ill-structured problem the teacher's role in problem-based